Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating this beautiful Christmas stocking wall decor with items purchased from the Dollar Tree, clearance items from Joann's, and items from the Habitat for Humanity Restore. This project uses one of those awesome fur trim buffalo check stockings from the Dollar Tree and it perfectly complements this total look. Please see the description box below for all of the supplies and tools used to create this project. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say welcome back to my current and new subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and you love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when a new tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's just jump right into that project. For this project, you will need one Christmas stocking of your choice, and I chose this buffalo check one with the fur trim, three or four paint stir sticks, a piece of foam board that's at least four inches bigger than your stocking, some green garland that is a bushy style with branches, and also some flat garland, an assortment of holiday floral and ornamental decor. Now I have some poinsettias, some pine cones, a few floral picks, and some other various ornaments left over from other projects in here. And as an option, you can also use a white frame to add to your stocking decor. If you don't have a frame, you can make one out of some scrap trim like I did here. I cut the pieces with a miter saw and then I glued them together with an E6000 hot glue combination and I let them dry. Pretty easy to do. To start on the stocking, the first thing we want to do is to remove all of the packaging, making sure you reserve that cardboard stocking form. Now grab your piece of foam board and you want to lay that form on top. Now grab your pencil. You want to trace the shape of the form, adding about three inches to the top. Now go ahead and place down your cutting mat. We're going to go ahead and grab our X-Acto knife and we're going to cut out the shape that we just traced onto the foam board. Now we just want to take our stocking and we want to insert that form you just cut out into the stocking. Now next we want to go ahead and stuff our stocking. So I grabbed some grocery bags and I stuffed the stocking until it was filled out pretty evenly. Next go ahead and grab your paint stir sticks and your flat garland. Now what we're going to do is we are going to cut a strip of that garland that measures about three-fourths of the length of the paint stick. Then we want to take our glue gun and apply glue to the stick. And then we want to go ahead and adhere the strip of garland to each one of the sticks. And here is what they should look like. Now 
Now grab your stocking and we're gonna add a small strip of that garland across the top of that white foam board sticking out. And now we're gonna arrange those paint sticks in the stockings opening. When the sticks are placed in, they should form a W. Now once they're formed, we can go ahead and just add that hot glue and secure those in place. And then we just go ahead and flip it over and add glue to any area that needs additional security. And once that glue dries, this is what it should look like. Now you just want to grab the bushy style garland. Go ahead and give it a little fluff. Now out of this, we're gonna cut two pieces that will fill the open areas of that W formation. And once you have those in place, go ahead and secure them in place with hot glue and let them dry. And now is the fun part. Go ahead and grab your basket of decorations and we're gonna go ahead and start sorting and arranging all the different pieces. Now I went ahead and started with adding the floral picks since they're stuffed down into the stocking. And then I went ahead and added some florals and I added some ornaments and a couple of fillers. Now you can also add bells as well, but sometimes less is more. I think this design is just about done. And here is the completed project. Okay, all you have to do is hang up your frame and then add the stocking by using a few map tacks attached to the stocking loop and a few to the opposite side to kind of torque it in place. Now, I can't even express how much this project makes me smile. I think it is super fun and it's a creative way to use all of your leftover holiday scraps and decorations. This is such a simple and easy arrangement and it can be customized any way you like. And it's super easy to do. Plus most of the parts of this arrangement are set in place with ornament hooks and or just the tiniest dab of hot glue or stuffed into the stocking so you can easily rearrange or disassemble it. That would make it easy to store or, you know, easy to use. The possibilities for this are limitless. Listen, if you enjoyed this project, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments how you would decorate and display this stocking arrangement in your home. Thank you again for visiting and checking out my tutorial. If you like videos like these and you don't want to miss the next one, 
go ahead and click that subscribe button below and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.